Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, we're up to about 133 subscribers. If you could hit subscribe, that would greatly help me. Uh, as I like to say, keep a roof over my head and put food on the table. Um, today, uh, oh, before I get to that, uh, this is me on LinkedIn. If you want to go ahead and uh, connect, uh, I have no problems with that. So feel free to reach out. Um, and also, it's a good medium for communicating back and forth. Um, so today, uh, to jump into it, we're going to activate the user self-registration plugin, um, so that way they can make a request uh, for an actual profile uh, in your instance. So uh, first thing I want to note is that we have to go to our plugins here. So when you type in plugin in the filter navigator, I'm in my favorites now, but if I were to scoot on over here, uh, plugin would, would pop up. And then um, we would move to, uh, excuse me, this, this screen right here, uh, which is where the, uh, the plugin would show up. So we would type in uh, user registration request, and this would pop up. Now uh, we'll go to this screen after we click on the actual plugin, click activate slash upgrade, and this screen will pop up. And I'm going to click activate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back to where I wanted to be before, which was this is what our screen looks like now when a user comes to our instance. Uh, we'll notice the instance name here. Now, I've already done this before uh, with another instance. So you'll notice here that we have the user self-registration form uh, right down here. This link will pop up after we do the plugin. So uh, let's see our progress on the plugin. Looks like it's successful. We're going to hit close. And now let's go back to our screen here and let's see if we can refresh this and if it pops up. Uh, it might take a second. Moving kind of slowly today. Um, and then one thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, make the request as a user and then, oh, okay, it takes me, oh, I'm already logged in. So what I have to do is, this is a good use for the incognito window. And we'll bring up a separate session. And I'm going to go to the instance. And it still thinks I'm logged in. Okay, so what I'm going to do then uh, is log out. Excellent. So now we see the uh, the self-registration form right here. So now I'm going to type in, let's see here, first name, last name. I'm going to put in email address, jasonmboca at gmail.com. Click Submit. And now you'll see right here, it says here that the request has been submitted and it's pending a review. Okay, fantastic. So now I'm going to try to log back in as the admin. And I think I reset the password just now. So yes, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And this is an instance that I don't really use that often. So I usually reset it after every session. Uh, let's see, let's put that in. And one thing we're going to notice also is that when we go into our instance, uh, if we look at user administration, user admin, uh, we're not going to see it here just yet. So what needs to happen is, and I believe it was pending user, right? So it's not there just yet. So I'm going to refresh this screen. And one thing I noticed also was that the user doesn't receive an email initially. They just receive that. Uh, if you rewind, you can go ahead and take a look at the top of the screen there. In the banner, you're going to get that notification. So let's see if pending user shows up now. There we go. Pending user registrations shows up. I'm going to click on Jason. And now we're going to click Create User. And let's see here. Everything's been created. And then now the notification is going to be sent to the user saying, hey, here's your username and here's your password. So I'm just going to show you a copy of the email that I did with the other instance. So basically, here you have it. Um, your user ID, I X'd out the password, um, but this is what it would look like. So if you wanted to modify it, obviously your organization probably has different user requirements, but you could go in there, modify it um, to your organization's needs. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I'm Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and you've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Thank you and have a great day.